Okay, okay my sister. Give her a mic, please. Okay. Please, 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 please tell us, or someone can kind of help guide us to the path of dual citizenship. Okay. All right. There's a there's an organization called the Ministry of the Future. They are currently working on getting uh, diaspora citizenship through the Ghana government. As you know, the Ghana government uh, granted um, in 2016 33 applicants from the diaspora uh, citizenship. Uh, so the process is still going on. So after you can see me, I can give you the website. So that's a new uh, phenomenon. Okay. All right. Number two. All right. Okay, so you mentioned earlier about, um, I think it was this gentleman in the uh, sky blue shirt, the sitting down, yes. he had mentioned earlier about um, making sure that you can have access to that land. Now, we have a lot of real estate agents that are sometimes on YouTube from Ghana. And these real estate agents are actually selling homes. Does that mean that they have permission to sell those homes on that land so that if you decide to purchase those homes, you won't have a problem, like a court issue? Thank you very much. Before I answer your question, I forgot very one important point. Uh, just about uh, four weeks ago, uh, someone by the name Francis Thompson from America. I presume maybe he might have approached me through uh, David. I don't know yes. how he got my uh, address. Mm -hmm. But when he contacted me, I realized that he acquired a land about 2013. Mm -hmm. And when he came back, the people have not processed his papers. Meanwhile, he has paid them for the registration. When I dug through, I realized that the land has been acquired by 21st century. There's an organization by that name. In effect, he has fenced the land, but he can never go and develop the land because it belongs to somebody. It came about because when he acquired the land, instead of him, anytime any of you acquire a land from other real estate developer, a land owner, who don't let them go and process your papers. All what they need is to execute the document for you and give it to you to go to the appropriate agency to go and then process your papers for the registration. So I'm cautioning all of you, never do you allow anybody you are far land from to go and process your paper. You will go and come and you see that the papers are not being processed. And eventually, if you don't take that, the same land might have been sold to somebody because your documents are not being sent. So please, I'm cautioning all of you, take note. Now let me come to your uh, question. <laughs> Most of these real estate developers, you hear them on the radio and a whole lot of other things, offering very nice packages. Mm -hmm. But some of them, they are studious as anything. They have registered as real estate developer, developers. They don't even, the land that they have acquired, they haven't even acquired the land properly. They go into a deal with the landowners that, oh, we are going to map out the area, develop it, and then sell it for you. They'll be selling this land for you, giving you a lot of promises, come, this are you, payment time, this, this, and that. I will advise that at any time you want to deal with any real estate developer, in the country, especially in the greater Accra region. Let him give you a specimen of his terms of agreement or the contract that he is going to have with you. Bring it over to me or approach any legal officer who will advise and direct you before you go ahead. So that is my answer that I'll give to you. Thank you. Okay, two more. Okay, next one. Okay, yes. Hi, um, can you give us the website for GIPC? Yes, yeah. 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 yeah.
and my email, then you can contact me anytime. W N Y A N U at G I P C Ghana dot com. Okay. Thank you. Great. All right. One last question. Go ahead, brother. Okay. Um, I've dealt with uh, acquiring land outside of the U.S. Uh, before, and what I found it's easier to acquire it if it is bank owned. That is, you're not dealing with any uh, other uh, third party but the bank. You're acquiring the land from the bank. Is it a possibility here to? Acquire, let's say, land that have been repossessed by the bank. Yes, it's possible. I think the government have already started trying to create land banks for industrial purposes, for agricultural purposes, for residential. So a process is in place. So eventually, it shall come to pass. Thank you. Okay, so let's give yourself a round of applause for this great I'm sorry to disclose this out a moment of silence, and we'll be doing it. Can we just get up and stretch ourselves? And for happy that we're coming to this